Hello, beach friends. Are you ready to go on a virtual vacation with me? I've chosen to go to Kais Island, and we are going to spend some time here looking for seashells. And believe me, seashells we will find. Storm came through not all that long ago, kicking up amazing treasures, including something fun I have never seen before. But before I jump into that, I need to show you the sunrise because it was absolutely spectacular spectacular. Oh, it's pretty. So I know I'm on the west coast of Florida and our sunrises aren't up over the water per se, but sometimes they still are pretty spectacular. Now, just like that, I've made my way over to Kais Island and that is where we are going to spend our time today. Kais is always quite nice to me. So I'm excited to see what all is going to be here. Now I gave you a little bit of a preview, so not to worry we're gonna have a great time. So if you're ready to see what's out there for us today, let's go to the beach. Okay, I've established it is early in the morning. I've established we are here on Kais Island and we are looking for treasures, whatever that may be. And I have some pretty high expectations because this is a couple days after a pretty substantial storm, Hurricane Idalia came through up north. So I am expecting to find, look, I mean, look at this. Now, how did I get here? I came here with SWFL Shell Guide. She is my go-to guide when I wanna go out and look for seashells. So I am here with Allie. Thank you once again for that for the ride. Oh dear. All right. So this is a lightning walk, and there is something something in there. So what about you? You empty. Okay, you're fine. So this larger whelk that I have in my hand, the animal is either alive and in there or it's dead in there. Either way, I'm not going to collect it. I'm going to put it in the water and, and hope for the best. This I managed to score too. This big old. Here, let me put that. There you go. This big old apple murex. Awesome. So, so far, yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty good. It just really depends on what you're looking for. I look for anything and everything, something interesting, something big, oh, something pretty, like this fighting conch, just with that gorgeous, like, honey color. Oh, it's so pretty. And that's something I would call knobless. It doesn't have those knobs along the top of the shell. Beautiful. And a little common nutmeg. Frankly, I don't find them all that common. Uh, they're not, you know, not terribly rare per se. I do find them, but not all that common. A lovely nutmeg. So the tide is out. It will be coming back in shortly. And the birds are having their breakfast and having a good old time. And as I was down by the water, I found this that likely someone dropped, probably a fisherman or something. So I'm gonna put that in my bag, get that off the beach. Now, I typically don't do a lot of shelling on kais really close to the water. Typically, the shells kind of get pushed up the beach. And so even though it's low tide, it doesn't really matter because a lot of your shelling is, at least on this island, is done kind of up the beach. I'm glad I came down here, though, just to take a peek because I managed to score this keyhole urchin, also known as a sand dollar. Gorgeous. And so that's going to go in my little hard container, like a little Tupperware that I keep in my shell bag to keep it intact. And this gorgeous lace murex. Oh, it's so pretty. A little bit of color with its pink top. So that is a lace murex. Um, yep, I saw the other one first, the shark eye, but it looks like I went and picked up this. The top of that was beautiful, but it's actually really kind of beat up. So that is a Florida cone. Let's take a look at this shark eye. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Now it has a hole in it probably because it had a drill hole in it. Something drilled a hole and it just kind of broke apart from there. I'm gonna keep it anyway. Oh, another little apple murex. So related, I know they look very similar to the lace murex, but a little bit different. An apple murex. So here's, you can kind of see what I mean about not really shelling up 
that the shells aren't out there and probably the big ones are the shells are mostly pushed in a little bit so that's Kais. Kais is kind of a funny funny place it's different than some of the other beaches now this horse conch ho oh, ho 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 now that's what I'm talking about except it's not empty so once again this is not a keeper there is an animal inside that so I'm going to leave it here at the beach. It's going to find a little bit, a little bit of water. I know the tide's coming up. There you go, friend. All right. Keep it moving. Look for something empty. Now, this is the cone zone that I like to call it. No, not a cone. This is a ribbed cantharis. Oh, I just love those. They don't get much bigger than that. That's about what they pretty much look like. That are a little bit smaller. And a spiny jewel box. And our banded tulip that we, we know is the cinctura hunteria i think i've nailed it this now i've got that nailed now and that is another apple murex i do tend to find kais does provide a lot of murex shells usually it's lace murex. yeah a lace murex and i know it looks like there's something something in there it's just mud just a little mud in that lace murex so what else oh there's tons of stuff here another banded tulip so yeah, just, oh my gosh. Yeah, just on one little, one little stoop to see what all was here. Oh, I love these. This is one of the reasons I do like coming to Kais is these colorful moon snails. They're also known as gaudy nauticas. I just think they're super. I love them. And they're so, and they're different. Not everyone's going to be exactly the same. So I like admiring the differences. So that's, yeah, it's a Florida cone, a pretty typical a little bit beat up, but a little bit of bleach is going to make that shell sing. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, another ribbed cantharis. Yeah, I never pass those up. If I see a ribbed cantharis, I pick it up. Lovely little shell. A little pear whelk. A darling little thing. Nice color. Lovely pear whelk. So this is my morning. There is a couple other people here, but for all intent and purposes, I kind of got the place to myself. All right, that sunrise is kind of hidden behind those clouds at this point. And like I said, this is a little while ago. This is a couple days after Hurricane Adalia hit up in northern Florida. So I'm here on Kais a couple days after that, which is really kind of that optimal time. And so I went out not every day, but I went out a lot after that storm just because it can be very, very productive. Okay, that's a hinged spiny jewel box. I'm just giving it a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to see if it'll open to see if it's a live critter. So uh, since it did not open, I'm pretty sure there's a critter in there. So I'm going to find it some water so we can hang out and wait for the tide to come in. There you go, friend. Another nutmeg. Look at that. Whoop, a very slippery nutmeg. Let's get, yeah, there's some stuff in there. Oh, it's so pretty. And kind of pointy. Oh, it's lovely. Another lovely nutmeg. Yep, another pretty lace murex. Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you, we're not going to look at too many ugly shells. I had to cut about 20 minutes out of this video to keep it down to 32 minutes. So all the things we see are going to be the good stuff. I do let the camera run for a minute later on, and I'll tell you about that later in the video. That was a calico scallop, a very lovely pinkish calico scallop. Oh, look at that. Another gaudy. And like I said, that's why I like coming here. A kais, I always find these colorful moon snails. And just take notice of that rich brown color on that one, because this one, I swear, is different. It's not the same shell. That one isn't quite as brown, but just, I'm not kidding, just like that, walk down, boop, just pick up that shell. So that's why Kais is awesome. These shell tours down here. Again, the timing a couple days after that storm doesn't hurt. Gorgeous calico scallop. Oh, it's so orange. Oh, it's lovely. So that's a little Florida horse conch. And the brown, that's a little bit of this periostricum. Gorgeous. Yeah, looking right. What what is gonna make me stoop down? Is it the lightning whelk? Yep. Yeah, it's a nice looking lightning whelk. So yeah, 
of a mix of fresh shells and old shells. And that's what happens. It is the ocean does not discriminate. It just pushes everything all over the place. Awesome little top snail. Now these are called jujube top snails. There's a couple different kind. The one that we typically pick up over and over is called a jujube top snail. Another colorful moon snail, a little different. Doesn't have those dark like zigzags all the way down the shell. Oh, well, it's not a golden olive. So golden olive, that would be like a really buttery color. Mm, it's pretty though. So that is a lettered olive. Doesn't have any of that lettered markings on it. And it's not a golden olive, but still, it's really pretty. Just like this jujube top snail. Oh, it really is. Look, it's pretty good size. All those little beads on it. Lovely. Lovely. Another color for moon snail. All right, let's take a look at the color on this one. Oh. And then one of these days soon, we'll talk about the golden rectangle. Not this video. I got something else we're going to nerd out on in a minute or two. Another apple murex. Oh, it's nice. And empty. It's the first thing I look for. Are you empty? And then, oh, you have all your little bumps and stuff. Yep. Another lovely apple murex. And so, yeah, this is where I would love to go shelling. The shells just aren't out there. So this is not a view where we see it periodically because I can't help myself. I go down to the water and then I kind of come back. And on the way, hopefully we find a little something, something. Not always. So we're going for the water into the cone zone. Well, frankly, I should call it the Florida fighting conch zone too because I mean, they're just loaded. Oh, oh, in the cone zone, we find those cones. Oh, it's intact. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, that's an awesome one. So that is an alphabet cone. It's called an alphabet cone because it often has little markings that look like letters on it. So, the, oh, I see an F, an A, a Y, maybe an S. Oh, that's a really good one. So that is an alphabet cone. Two rather large, nice looking lightning whelks. They do get way bigger. So lightning whelks and horse conks are the shells that'll get real big like a foot, you know, like 12, 14 inches big, bigger than that. But that's a calico clam. And it will be a much different video. If I were looking for just the larger shells, we would spend a lot of time just kind of looking at the water. When you're going for the smaller shells, you're going to find more of them. So I do typically, when I go, here's the going zone. When I go looking for seashells, yes, of course, I'd love to find that big one. But I usually do concentrate really on finding um, more of the smaller ones. The gaudy nauticas, your murexes, alphabet cones, things of that nature. Oh man, that's pretty. Okay, another Florida horse conch. And that is a keeper. Oh, it's, it's like, well, it's a little bit bigger than pendant size. Really pretty. Oh, while I'm here, might as well, yeah. Another apple murex. It's got a little bit of stuff on it, but that's yeah, a nice size, nice color. And mostly it's not um, worn down. The beach didn't hug it too many times. It's kind of fresh, so it's looking kind of nice. The day is actually looking kind of nice, too, if I do have to say. Not too shabby of a view. A big old banded tulip. Lovely. Common though. Pretty common. Still pretty. These are pretty common too. That's a Florida prickly cockle, but I couldn't resist that purple in the interior. Plus it's hinged. Oh, that's awesome. Gorgeous Florida prickly cockle. Another jujube top snail. Nice. Good day for top snails. Top snails and the uh, nutmegs I seem to be finding. Uh, speaking of nutmeg. Yeah. Cool. Top snails I do find often, but not the nutmegs, even though it's called a common nutmeg. Another lovely nutmeg. Okay. Yep, yay, colorful moon snail. All right, that one's a good one. That's a real good one. Nothing I'm gonna go like bananas over, but that is a very nice colorful moon snail. What about this one? Yeah, real nice too, real nice middle of the road. Nothing too, you know, crazy about it, nice color. Yay, another. Colorful, ooh, colorful moon snail. This 
It's an alphabet cone. Oh, drat. You know what, though? Looks good like that. Might hold it just so. Yep. Go ahead and hold on to that. I see an F and an E. This. Oh, I remember this shell. Isn't it gorgeous? I love those zigzags. And it's on the the knobs on it all the way up and it's kind of like a muted zigzag. Oh man, that's pretty. And all right, let's get this crusty Florida cone while we're here too. Another nutmeg. This one's real nice, a nice dark color in there. Now we'll try to rinse it out a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, good day for nutmegs. It'll take a hot second to kind of dig some of that stuff out of there, but that is all right. Now, the nutmeg is also one of the shells I've never found alive, and I've never seen a hermit crab in them. These, the apple murex, I do find alive, and I do find them with hermit crabs in it. So sometimes I have to leave them, even if they're technically empty and collectible. But that's a mess. I know, very messy, but gorgeous. It's going to clean up so good. Nice apple murex. What do, what am I circling? Oh, the angel wing. Nice. A lovely angel wing. Pretty good size too, the angel wings. The false angel wings and the smaller ones don't get quite that big. Wow, there's stuff everywhere. Okay, oh, how did I even see that with everything else going on? Now you're looking, oh man, that's a good one. See, I know it's a mess, but it's really the shell. Is it intact? Um, is it chipped? What else did I see? Okay, another Murex. I figure, yeah, while well, I'm here, oh man, it's messy. Yeah, let's, let's see, is there anything? I'm gonna find some water. Let's rinse these off. Oh man, that is gorgeous. So that black is the periostricum from the alphabet coat. And that will come off with bleach. Absolutely no problem. Beautiful shell. Gorgeous. Now what am I hunting? Another cone. Wow. So that's a Florida cone. But look at the color on that. Now at first I thought, ooh, maybe it's a, a freshly dead one. But then I thought, hmm, all the other ones are usually kind of a solid color. Right? They're usually like that solid orange. Beautiful, beautiful Florida cone. Oh man, you're so perfect. Another little Florida horse conch. Now I told you, I cut out all of the questionable shells. So we're gonna be picking up awesome shell after awesome shell. Now we're gonna get to nerd out a little bit. Now I'd seen these shells before and I really just kind of thought, oh, it's kind of a light color for moon snail. Well, apparently it's not. Apparently this particular shell, even though it looks exactly like that color for moon snail, is a different species called the Nauticarius varae. So the Nauticarius varae is that one on the left where the Nauticarius canrina, I like to call the color for moon snail, that's the one on the right. And they honestly, to me, they just look like different colors. They are the same shape, they are essentially the same size. The only thing I'm finding different is really the coloration. So I start looking up Nauticarius varae and on the Animal Diversity website, I find it, but I don't find any pictures. So I head on over to World Species. And again, I find that name, Nauticarius varae, no pictures. So I keep going. I head over to Hardy's Internet Guide to Marine Gastropods. I find my term. I don't find a picture. Then I head over to the World Register of Marine Species. I see my term. Once again, I don't see the photo. So I'm having a hard time until finally I find my term, Nauticarius varae, over at collections.si.edu and they have a photo. And not only a photo, a photo I can download. So I feel a little bit better about this. I know it's the Nauticarius varae. Do I have any other information? No. Nothing other than this Nauticarius varae was discovered down here in the Marco Island area and it is a different species of snail. So pretty cool. I want to thank Freeburn Shells for pointing that out to me. Just wanted to nerd out for just a second and let's continue to find amazing seashells. Now, if you find a seashell with a shell trapped in its aperture like this, try to be very cognizant. You can break the shell you're trying to keep. 
So be careful the way you kind of remove the shells from that aperture. And would you look at that alphabet cone? Holy smokes, I am having so much fun, but it really is pretty out. So I'm gonna be quiet and let you enjoy some beach time. What caught my eye? Well, this very pretty patterned calico scallop did. Gorgeous. Now, anytime I see garbage or anything that really shouldn't be at the beach, I do pick it up and put it in my beach bag. And I'm keeping track. At the end of the video, we'll see how much garbage I've removed off the beach since I've been keeping track. Crazy. Another nutmeg. Nice. Nice looking little nutmeg. It's got this little top and everything. Already, what is it? Alright, little scallop. Gorgeous. Another lovely calico scallop. Oh wow. Now I don't know if that's like the natural color of this lace murex or if it kind of soaked up some minerals, but I think it's beautiful. So that's a lace murex. And yeah, this fighting conch, another one. It's kind of shiny with that just warm honey color oh <laughs> i tried to not collect those until i'm leaving the island they are a little heavy but you know try as i might sometimes they just call to me hey nutmeg you're pretty awesome night like that rich dark color I picked up a lot of them i like that dark color almost that black color really cool all right now i'm still heading into the heading into the island to the middle of the island. Let's see what else we can own. I can't believe I spied that, just a little piece, but lo and behold, we have another. Uh, be careful with that beach stuff. Um, I've cut my thumb trying to remove beach stuff, so just be careful. Yeah, I wash it off. Oh, the aperture is not broken. I could care less about the beach stuff. That will come off. It's really, is the shell whole? What is the color like? Because that you can't really change, unless, of course, you dip it in acid. That's that's an awesome alphabet cone. Even with all that stuff on it, it's gonna clean up great. Another colorful moon snail. I guess, do we wanna call that, is that the next shell we wanna learn the scientific name, the Naticarius canrina, maybe? Oh, what did I see? And just like that, and that's how it, you're just kinda of walking and something will catch your eye. Now this alphabet cone, yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer. It had a rough life. It was broken a couple times, it repaired itself, but it really has some like, what's the word? Substance, like you can, I mean, it's just like a heavy shell, pretty. A little top snail, a jujube top snail. Oh, well, hi there, true tulip. Oh, you're lovely. Yeah, I don't get to find many of those. Awesome, a true tulip. And now quickly, we're gonna do a little speed shelling here. Okay, nutmeg, not surprising, pretty good. Yeah, okay, and two nutmegs, and two nutmegs, and a top snail, and another top snail. And we have a little Gulf Oyster drill. We have a little shell, probably some sort of drill. I cannot identify for certain about this one. Yep, that's a shell. <laughs> kind of like the one before. All right, that's a little fighting conch. That's a little fighting conch. That's a marginella, maybe an Atlantic marginella. And that took about 47 seconds. So Kais was really quite spectacular on this particular day. That's a little fighting conch. I just like them. Very common. I don't care. I like them. Anyway. Actually, so are the olives. 
A lot of the shells I like are still kind of common, but there's something different about every single one of them. Now at this point, I want you to just kind of notice, I'm just gonna let the camera roll for a minute. I don't normally do this. Normally I kind of stop, well, you know, I, I find a shell, we look at it, I cut it, and I go to the next shell. But there is so many that I can just let this roll a little bit. So this is really what it's like. It's picking up a shell, picking my head up, seeing how pretty the day is, pinching myself that I'm so lucky, then putting my head back down and looking for the shells. So another colorful moon snail. No question that that was the, the other moon snail. Another jujube top snail. Awesome. Now there's tons of stuff here. What What's gonna catch my eye? Another olive? It's shiny and pointy. So I'm going a little quicker than I normally would just because I'm trying to find the next shell to show you, but it was pretty epic. There were shells just everywhere. Super duper fun. Lovely little alphabet cone. Let's see any letters on this one? Little splotches. Yeah, mostly that's just splotches. Still very cool. Little alphabet cone. Shocking. A nutmeg. Oh, not just any nutmeg. Can we look at... That is kind of awesome. That one on the left. Wow. And that's what I mean about... I know I can pick up like 30 nutmegs. But I'm going to notice those tiny little nuances that are different about the shells. So pretty. Anything else going to... I know tons. I see bubbles, lightning, uh, lace murex. Oh, another one. See, and it's stuff like this that would make me a little crazy. Kind of looks like in between, right? That other, that Naticarius foray and the colorful moon snail, right? Like in between that. Which is why for a while I didn't, <laughs> didn't really believe it was true. But... It is, it is another species of snail. Wow, beautiful lightning whelk. Oh yeah. Oh, the color on that is gorgeous. Lovely lightning whelk. Oh, I'm circling around this calico scallop with pretty spectacular color on it. Wow. Yep. Oh, something else, another scallop. Very, oh, so pretty. And the, yeah, little well, Florida cone. One little crazy with the cones today. Now this, I have never seen anything like, well, all right, I've seen something like it. I think the winged oysters, it's kind of reminding me of them, but I think, with a big question mark, I think this is a flat tree oyster. I've never seen one before, but man, that was cool, of course, because it's something I've never seen before. So that's always one of the exciting things when you're out there. What else can you discover? So I'm thinking that is a flat tree oyster. Really kind of cool. And guess what? I think I found the other half of it. And it wasn't that far away. It was maybe like uh, eight feet away. I think that's the other half of it. So that's the other part of this flat tree oyster. I've, like I said, never seen one. Really neat, gorgeous. Yep, there's the two halves. Neato. So add something else to my fun box. Perhaps this flat tree oyster. If anyone knows for sure, if you can let me know in the comments, that'd be awesome. Cool. Flat tree oyster. Well, that was cool. So it is the point in my little journey where I do need to turn around and think about heading back. And then I realize wow, I've kind of gone pretty far and I only have so much time to make it back to the boat. So I'm going to pay attention. I'm going to go a little bit quicker. I usually kind of creep down the beach one way and then depending on how much time I have, I will, no, well, maybe not run, but I, I will be expedient on the way back. So I grab the glass, grab these two Florida cones, grab this other gorgeous color from Moon Snail and this pear whelk. as well as this ribbed cantharus because I cannot pass them up. And then I realized, I mean, I really kind of got to hustle at this point. So what is going to make me slow down? Oh, you are, look at shiny. It's almost white. I know it's not albino yet. It's like albinistic. I think it's gorgeous. 
So put that with my other almost albino fighting conks. Yes, I will slow down for that. But yeah, um, <laughs> time is of the essence. So I'm hustling again. And be careful when you're on Kais. Look, there are tripping hazards everywhere. If you ever come, wear shoes. Wear good shoes. And I didn't even slow down for that one. <laughs> I just grabbed it and kept on hustling. So it was super duper fun. It was super duper productive. It was such a great day to be out there and just a quick boat ride back and that's it. My journey is over. So that was really, really fun. Thank you again to SWFL Shell Guide for giving me a ride out to awesome Kais Island. I tell you what, you didn't want to rumble with me on this day. Between the glass and the knife, I was dangerous. All right, so it took 2.35 ounces of garbage off the beach in total. A little over 38 pounds of garbage since I started keeping track, which is back in April 2022. Yeah, I removed a couple other things off the beach too. So a couple of those top snails, I did grab some of those. Two Gulf Oyster drills, some of those periwelks, the ribbed cantharis. We have some tinted cantharis there, horse conks, calico scallops, probably a couple bay scallops in there too. Some lettered olives, some shark eyes, the colorful moon snails, we have Let's see, lightning whelks, alphabet cones. We have murex, the apple murex. To the left of it is the lace murex. We have, oh yeah, Florida cones. I just kept grabbing them. So we got a little pile of those. The nutmegs were showing up today. Couple banded tulips, the Florida fighting conks. One icy white Linux simile, a calico clam, sand dollar, some tinies, some spiny jewel boxes, angel wings, sunry Venus clam. Then my favorites here are that cool oyster of some sort, that albinistic fighting conch. The two alphabet cones, I have that true tulip up there, that gaudy, that uh, natacarius beret, the other Florida cone. I mean, it just was really fun. A lot of interesting things for me to kind of tease my brain with or entertain my brain with. Patreons, thank you from the bottom of my heart for choosing to support me. I really, really appreciate it. And everybody else who watches, thank you. If you would like to help, by all means, please like this video and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that already. Next week, we're going kayaking and we're going to Key Waden. It will be another fun trip. And until then, I hope you have yourself a great week and I'll see you again next Sunday.